Rising, welcome to today's show. This video is important, so make sure you check it out and watch it entirely, because I'm going to show you not only the signs and symbols that are always there, but how these satanic Freemasons operate. Elton John has a new movie coming out, a biography on his life, the whole concept of the biography, and the purpose so that they have these films, just like I covered with Freddie Mercury and Queen. Okay, they always pay homage to each other. The same reason back in the day before there was television, they would have paintings, those historical paintings that we see of all these prominent figures. This is how they keep their legacy alive. This is what these Masons and Satanists do. And this is, the stuff you're going to see, is the clips I'm about to show you from the trailer, I'm going to show you a few times in a row. Listen carefully to what he says. Get to be a soul, man. Gotta kill the person you were born to be in order to become the person you want to be. I'm thinking of changing my name to Elton. But that's my name. Yeah, I know. He had to reinvent himself. Gotta kill the person you were born to be to become the person you want to be. Get to be a soul, man. Gotta kill the person you were born to be in order to become the person you want to be. I'm thinking of changing my name to Elton. But that's my name. Yeah, I know. He had to reinvent himself. Gotta kill the person you were born to be to become the person you want to be. Notice what he says there. You have to kill the person you were born to be in order to become the person you want to be. Okay, this has to do with the satanic baptism. This has to do with selling your soul, killing yourself. By selling your soul, giving your soul up in order to obtain all the treasures and riches of the earth. That's why all of these Satanists in the music industry constantly talk about selling their souls. Music is a form of spell casting. It's a form of witchcraft. That's what it is. That's why backmasking, they do all this stuff and they you know, subliminally mind control people without them realizing it. But Elton John, literally, they're telling you this in the trailer. That to become who you want to be, first you have to kill the person that God made you to be. Right? To be born again in Satanism. Pretty scary that they're flat out showing you that. Right? And he, he says he wants to take that guy's name. Who knows? That guy probably ended up getting sacrificed. Even though they claim that it's some guy who died in 2006. is supposed to be who he took his name after. Probably took it after the person that he ritually sacrificed. Because that's all part of the Satanic Oath and how all this stuff works. Now, the first thing you'll notice as soon as he says that. Kill the person you were born to be, who do we see? We see him dressed up as what? As the Baphomet, right? You see the the horns on the head. I mean, all of this stuff, they say it, they show it to you. You see how they reveal themselves? Kill the person, kill the person you were born to be to become the person you want to be. And then they show him dressed like that with the horns. Pretty unbelievable how in your face it is. The logo for the movie Rocket Man, the same logo Elton John markets with and, and has branded for himself. The pentagram, the star. You don't think uh, his marketing consultant said, hey, you know what? That's the same logo that Starbucks uses. And that's the same logo that Converse uses. And that's the same logo that the Dallas Cowboys use and the Dallas Stars. Same with the Lightning Bolt, right? Gatorade. We see all these companies who use these satanic symbols over and over and then like the sheep that society is they tell them hey go to school get your marketing degree right and nobody sits there and goes well why all these big companies use the same ones how many times we got to see a star it's the pentagram that's what the five-pointed star is it's the pentagram okay if somebody drew the lines in between then somebody go oh no i see it it's the pentagram you've been conditioned into thinking that this means like a star in the sky okay it's not what a star in the sky looks like they're not floating in the sky like this this is about satanic worship. So you see the pentagram there. Now get a load of this. This is pretty ridiculous. This is Gucci. One of the albums that he did or songs. I'm not sure what it, uh, one or the other. I don't know. I'm not a, you know, an Elton John devout fan. But it's called Levin Goodbye, something like that. And the logo, of course, happens to be the all-seeing eye on the album, right? Because why wouldn't it be? He also wanted to be an optometrist. They all have a love for eyeballs. Just love eyeballs. Every one of these celebrities always showing you it. And look what we get there. We get the eyeball logo. And look at this. This is on Gucci's website. And they're promoting it as if it is the album cover. Maybe it is the actual album cover. But there he is on top of the Masonic checkerboard with the all-seeing eye symbolism, right? 
right there in plain sight for everybody to see, but we're all crazy, right? We're all conspiracy theorists because we see these things and other people just refuse to see it because they're so prideful, right? And listen, this guy has done so many, you know, there's other, <laughs> there's so much stuff with Elton John, just like Freddie Mercury, you can go through the list, obviously what they promote as far as sexuality goes, you'll see on Elton John's The Road to El Dorado that he's doing the pledge, this is a Masonic oath, I have a video on the Pledge of Allegiance, all right? And this is why it's hard in certain instances to say, look, this guy is a Mason, he's doing a Masonic pledge, because obviously the presidents and all these people are going to say, well, we're doing a Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. During their Masonic oaths, and even the Masons, they won't, well, they deny it. Well, they deny everything anyway. They're just bold-faced liars. One of the oaths they take has them, we all know the hidden hand, right? We see them hide the hand, but they also have an allegiance oath where they hold their hand over their heart, which you can see him doing right on this cover, right in front of all this, you know, crap in the background, holding his hand over his heart, okay? This is part, this is another <laughs> initiation into Freemasonry, right? So should we be surprised? No, and you've seen, you know, lots of celebrities do that. There's articles out there showing inside Elton John's home and his artwork, he has more artwork with all seeing eye symbolism. I'm not gonna get into detail about that because I mean, it's it's always the same crap, is it not? You know, you see the guy wearing a serpent on his jacket. Obviously, this guy had connections to Princess Diana. Wouldn't be surpri surprised if he was involved in that ritual. I mean, who gained the most after that ritual? I mean, Candle in the Wind became like... And I know the song was already out beforehand. It was previously dedicated to someone else. But it's something to keep in mind. Obviously, the royal family and the royal bloodline connected to that as well but he's connected to them right he gets knighted isn't this guy a knight or something or sir sir elton john because he played what he played a couple songs about tiny dancer and the guy and nobody out there goes how do you become a sir how does that happen how do you become sir elton john hmm oh i guess it was just because he had a couple he had a good song in the lion king and tiny dancer that they were like you know what we're gonna make him a sir like he's royalty now because that song in the lion king couldn't live without it. Everyone's like, yeah, agreed. All say aye, aye. And then they go, all aye, all seeing aye? <laughs> we all love eyes too. We all fail in optometry. You also see him doing the hand on the chin, which is another Masonic pose. You'll see them do on the magazine covers. Okay, all of this stuff is carefully done and crafted, but it's also right in front of you. It's just your brain hasn't been trained to pick up on these things and see it that way. Your brain has been trained to shut off almost like a victim of trauma-based mind control and watch these shows in an alpha state adult is a sleeping state i just call it a sleeping state and you're not seeing this stuff you're just caught up in like the drama the characters what they're wearing and all these symbols are being flashed in front of you like the entire time the agendas are all in there like the underlining agendas the themes whatever agenda they're pushing now you see the feminist agenda pushed in we see the lgbt with you know certain characters of certain sexualities placed in all these tv shows this is a giant operation on the human race and all these people in positions of power are all playing a role in it sure they're not the ones these famous people like elton john at the tippy top of the pyramid but they're just as guilty as anyone else because they're they're responsible for influencing people and their behavior you know, I mean, you see Elton John throwing up devil horns, right? I mean, all the symbolism is there, but the trailer itself, it speaks for itself. What else needs to be said? Look at the trailer. Those words are, I mean, when you hear that, it's like, wow, right? You got to kill who you, the person you were born to be, who God intended you to be. You have to kill that person to become who you want to be, right? Become your own God, the Masonic mindset. Think about it. All these celebrities always talking about selling their soul. Kill who God intended you to be to become who you want to be. All these people, all part of the same brotherhood. Whether they're Freemasons, part of Satanic Covens, Eastern Star, which is the female version of Freemasonry, who are all witches. And they all network together. And you know what they do? They influence and brainwash everyone around the world in every country we have different celebrities in each country doing this right in india they have their own you know their own actors and actresses and musicians all around the world the uk it's it's a scary operation but this is central intelligence at its finest 
with direct orders coming from Bagelville, who's behind this entire thing. So this is Elton John. He's being pushed again in Rocket Man. Got the pentagram and the logo. What more do you need to see? Very similar to Freddie Mercury and Bohemian Rhapsody, which came out last year. You know, what's the, who's next year? Who's the, the famous Freemason Satanist next year that they're going to promote and do a biography, you know, movie on so that they can glorify one another and drool over each other like the sick, selfish psychopaths that they are? These people need to be stopped. I'm going to do my damnedest to stop them. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families. talking about Harry Potter, a lot of people find that problematic. To the public, Wicker is often seen as mysterious, secretive, maybe even dangerous. But is this... Witchcraft. 